I'm John with Sharpened Artist. Today I'm going to walk through this tutorial creating this red apple in color pencil. Let's get started. In this tutorial I wanted to show that you could use just about any type of colored pencil to create a great drawing. So I started out using Prismacolor Premier the 12 set. You can pick them up at any craft store or order them online. They're very inexpensive. I didn't even use every pencil in the set. My line drawing is very important. I spent a lot of time on getting my line drawing as accurate as I want it to be. The more accurate your line drawing is, the better off you'll be, the, the better your overall drawing will turn out and achieve realism much better by getting that line drawing very accurate. I'm shading with green in that set of pencils and I used Stonehenge white. Um, it's a 90 pound paper. It's 100% cotton, acid free. I like it a lot for colored pencil. It's a very good paper. I'm layering a light green and then a dark green and I'm doing this very very lightly. And I'm trying to use darker colors at the beginning so I can see what I'm doing. And then I go back in with yellow and I use the yellow on the entire uh, drawing. I use yellow in every piece of, of the apple just so there's some continuity. Now I'll come back in with green again and I'll put that green just about every everywhere. Well in fact it will go over the entire uh, apple as I'm drawing. I'm picking up little uh, mistakes here and there with a kneaded eraser trying to remove as much as I can where I see that clumps of pigment may, might be gathering. Again I'm using the, the green and I'm paying close attention to the stroke, the way that the fruit uh, appears on the outside. The skin has sort of this linear direction to it. So I want my lines to go up and down with this sort of curve right in the middle to show the girth of the, of the fruit. And so the only way I can do that is by varying uh, my stroke and uh, making sure that I uh, show some of that variation in the texture of the skin of the apple. And now I'm putting in some of the red and then I forgot, oh yeah, I want to shade the, the stem here. So I use a brown color and I go back in a little later on and uh, I actually put green in it because I want to show a little bit of life in my drawing and I think that adds a little something. My reference photo doesn't have um, doesn't have any green in the stem but I wanted to show a little more life and I think it just added to the overall subject when I was done. I'm adding more red on the apple. Now I do not typically use Prismacolor Premier pencils, but in this piece I'm using these because I want to demonstrate how easy it is just to get started and to use um, uh, Prismacolor Premier 12 pencils and just start on a drawing. In step six I'm using orange and I'm adding orange to the entire apple. Again, I'm paying very close attention to the direction of, of my strokes because I want to convey that there is some body in the, uh, the girth of that apple right there in the middle of the apple. So I also want to reserve part of that um, portion up there in the top right area for a highlight. I want to show that the light is reflected off of the skin of the apple. And I want to do the same thing again on the back side of the stem where the stem is. I want to show a little bit of brightness back there. Now I'm shading with orange quite a bit right here in this area 
right where the shadow will start in the apple, where the light will be tapering off, and you'll see more of just the darkness in the shadow of that apple. That orange, though, I vary the pressure just a little bit as I, as I get towards the area where I want to reserve some for the highlight, then I want to just barely use any pressure at all in that area. Over on the top left area, with the orange, I used a lot of pressure. Now I'm adding a little bit of the, the blue that comes in this 12 set of the Prismacolor Premier. There's not a lot of options here for, for dark colors, but I did use the, the blue that's in there. I think it's a, a blue-violet. Then I use that dark green again. My final layer is using the uh, red, and, and I'm just burnishing. That is, I'm pressing very hard, trying to fill in all the, the gaps in the apple. Thank you very much for watching, and if you like this tutorial, please subscribe to the channel, and you can always head over to sharpenedartist.com. Under Tutorials, I have available the reference photo that I used here, and you can print that out and follow along.